His welcome is going to be well, I won't say Toby because I imagine some people here are going to be pretty heavy up. But a little bit less friendly. and to you nuns. That's right. He's been devotees of Peter Garrett since all that time. And we believe in him. He's been lured by the dark side of the AOP. We believe in you, Peter Garrett. You're going to come through. You're a good boy, really. We know you're a good boy. Hallelujah, brother. Sister Soul is speaking to you now. Oh, Peter, why? Why? Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming along. We're here to protest Peter Garrett, who's going to be at a conference here sometime soon, and to express our opposition about his political sellout on a whole number of different fronts. A lot of us are anti-nuclear and peace campaigners. A few of the issues we're worried about is Beverly and Beverly Four Mile Uranium Mines. Uh, as you know, Garrett used to be a strong anti-nuclear, anti-uranium campaigner uh, with the ACF and elsewhere. Acting as a campaigner for years on nuclear and environmental issues, finally show his true colours and allow things like the four, mine, four mile uranium mine to go ahead with no environmental assessment is a level of hypocrisy that not even the ALP has managed to climb to until this point. Tasmania. 
Premier and he said nothing about any of the issues. He cynically tricked Australia into believing that he was a supporter of for all those years. I think the veil is finally off. Peter Garrett has always been a self-promoting right-wing Christian lawyer. That's what he always was, that's what he still is. And I think today he's showed us, and over the last two years, he's showed us his true colours. It's approved the Beverly expansion and the Beverly Four Mile Mine. Uh, they're mining uranium, which is feedstock for weapons of mass destruction. It's also in situ leach mining, which pollutes groundwater with radioactive particles and heavy metals and acid. And in 2002, Garrett himself complained about the routine and deliberate pollution caused by these ISL mines. So it's just disgraceful and hypocritical for him to be approving those mines. We're all so upset and angry about his uh, silence on a whole range of issues. The nuclear reliance with the US, uh, Pine Gap spy base, um, all those sorts of issues, his willingness to sell uranium to nuclear weapon states, to countries which are blocking progress on the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty and the Fissile Material Cutoff Treaty. And last but not least, we're complaining about his silence on plans for a nuclear waste dump in the Northern Territory and his unwillingness to stand up in support of traditional owners who are opposed to that nuclear waste dump. Selling out people. Selling out. 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 Selling out